It's going down YouTube. It's your boy Black with Chi Three Long Face. Skinny body got on the grill. You already know I'm still working on that part. And we back with some more fire anime content. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, comment below. Let me know what you think of the video. Hit the bell notifications to let your friends know what's going down. But other than that, let's get right into the business. You heard? All right, executing the prison break board to episode 146 aired today and i'm not gonna be shy to admit it again this is another consistent episode now the thing about this consistency that they have been doing there have been a couple episodes in this mugina bandit prison sub arc of the entire mugina bandit arc there's been a couple episodes where we've been like all right you know what I'm saying? They probably shouldn't have spent the whole episodes on this. Like, for my preference, that whole Who Done It episode, which is like a couple weeks back. And then maybe even today, you know, I feel like we spent a little bit too much time uh, focusing on, oh, snap, what happened to Sarita and all that happened. is like, bro, yeah, she she was about to drown. We know that. Stuff like that. But overall, for the most part, bro, I get an episode 9 out of 10, maybe even 10 out of 10. I don't even know. Maybe even an 8 out of 10. I, it just depends. You got to catch me on what type of mood I'm feeling. So we get finally to Kokiri being able to release the Celestial Dragon Prison. And it was kind of a hassle to get that thing done throughout the whole episode. Boruto Mitsuki had to keep on running into this freaking two-headed dog. And it's like, bro, I'm really... I don't know. Maybe I was just seeing things, but I could have sworn on the preview last week for this episode. The dog had three heads. But that really doesn't matter at the end of the day. My guy, Benga, I'm not going to say he disappointed me because I didn't really expect much from this dude anyway. But, like, come on, dude. He 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 showed his hand. He showed all his hand this episode. Like, he, he just got too desperate. Like, at the end of the day, when he pulled up on Tsukio to let him out of the solitary confinement in order to help him, it was obvious, bro. He was lying. Dude came up mad quick like, yo, bro, you know what I'm saying? I did what you asked me to do, so just go ahead and give me the money. Bro, first of all, Suki already knew what was going down. He already knew, like, bro. I, like I said, like I said previously, Sukio probably wasn't even planning to get his due money in the first place. He was just manipulating Benga. But then again, at this point, who didn't really realize that, you know? So Benga was just the necessity to keep around and for for Sukio's purposes. Sukio's finally out. Dude pulled up on Boruto, Sabrina, Mitsuki, and my guy Kokiri. And he's ready to go down. And I ain't gonna lie, that lightning jutsu, that lightning weird looking jutsu he used to take out Benga. That joint's looking pretty fast. You know, he popped up out of nowhere. It took, like, Boruto and them the whole episode to get to where they're at. My guy Sukio made it to that spot in, like, 15 seconds. On top of that, he folded Benga. So, I'm excited to see how this moonlit decisive battle goes down next week. They better be throwing some hands. You know, the animation wasn't as crispy as it was last week. Because, we you know, last week when Sarada got blasted with that fireball jutsu, everybody was like, yo, hold on. She looking, she may be getting folded right now like an omelet, but she is looking pretty pretty light crispy pretty clean pretty swift and smooth if you know what i mean but this week didn't completely live up to par as last week's episodes but i have a feeling that next week episode 147 is gonna be superb it's gonna be crazy good so keep your eye out for that as for anything else you know my guy kenema really um showed up this episode as well and who's to say his character development throughout these last two three episodes really paid off in this episode we get to see him helping out sarada now at this point a lot of people were like dang so if it really wasn't for this guy sarada would be dead Sarada did have the idea literally just before he dragged her down to like should she swim below and see if she could find a different type of surface but she was like that may be too risky as soon as she started thinking about the idea boom somebody pulled her down below and brought her up to a different surface so you know Sarada did have the idea so I feel like if Kenema still wouldn't have came she probably just would have been delayed probably by like a few couple of minutes you know nothing that big of a deal at this point they already figured out that they couldn't get the water so and Sarada still made up for all of the nonsense that went down by still breaking out, you know, and having Kokiri still able to get that uh, water to release the Celestial Fire Dragon Juice. Because at the end of the day, the first time Kokiri stepped over the border, I, it's understandable, right? And then when they get pursued by these two-headed dogs again, when they're at the border of Kokiri, Mitsuki, and Boruto, this guy steps over the border again once the dog starts barking. Like, what did he think was going to happen? And he's just going to... So he literally got scared for his life. And then he just decided to commit suicide. That's how I took it. I really didn't understand that scene. He's just sitting there burning. And my guy Boris was just sitting there watching him burn 
on the ground acting like he's in pain. I mean, they got to play into the fact that Mitsuki did state before all of this went down. They have to try to fight as little as possible in order for this plan to work. So I guess you could say that's understandable. My guy Mitsuki think he's in the WWE this whole episode trying to put the dog in a freaking choke slam and stuff like that. And my guy Boruto mvp he still did mvp caliber things throughout this arc but like i said just this episode rubbed me a little bit the wrong way but for the most part it still lived up to the constant consistency they, they've been keeping up with since they started this present arc but i'm excited to get through this um episode 47 is going to be lit the animation is going to be crisp the fight better be super cold and clean i'm suki will still better not disappoint for the small amount of hype that's been built up to him in this little sub arc now after the sub arc that's what i'm really excited because you already know something big is going to go down but Boruto likes to add all of these new features and implement all of these different factors into the manga content. So who's to say I know when it's going to go down, but I'm definitely excited for the next couple of parts of the Mujina Bandit arc, especially into introducing the number one and then introducing a particular moment that is everybody's just excited for which is why the mujina ben art has been the talk of the Boruto community, despite the spite the execution that most people would not expect. But until the next video, it's your boy Black Uchi after your long face skinny body. Got on the ground still working on that part. Boruto episode 146 was pretty lit. Comment below. Let me know what you think of the video. Let me know what you think of the episode. Let me know what you think I should talk about next. And just share the video with your friends. Hit the notifications. And until my next drop, holla at your boy JC. Black Uchi out.